Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. So today we're going to be talking about the final season of Dead to Me. This is a Netflix series. Um, this is like I said the final, the third and final season. Um, this does star Christina Applegate, Linda Cardellini. This may also be Christina Applegate's uh, just final project that she does after her recent diagnosis of MS. I believe if I recall correctly she was actually diagnosed while she was filming uh, this season and it was one of the most difficult things uh, for her to do and she just wanted to complete you know the season and, and just kind of give these characters a nice really good send-off now I did review season one and season two so I'll go ahead and um well I'll, I'll put it at the end deal it's gonna be a spoiler free review I know that the season came out like last week I think it is but it's, it's it's too good for spoilers even though I did do a spoiler review I think for season one but season two I didn't. I don't think I did. I don't know. Well, but this could be spoiler free, just just so y'all know. And this could be pretty quick because my battery's about to run out. So of course we do pick right back up from where season two um ended with Judy and Jen being T-boned by you know, we come to find out it was Ben who was, you know, drunk driving and uh passed the stop sign that uh Jen was very, very much you know advocating to uh, establish a stop sign there because of all the accidents that have been happening so like the saying goes everything kind of happens for a reason and at the end of the day there was reasons that the car accident happened for certain things to happen and a certain character or certain characters to find out certain things that happened to them that it's happening to them that they have rather there is a health scare happening here um i won't say what or who it goes to but uh, that's the kind of topic that was difficult for um christina applegate just kind of the emotions that kind of went through certain things this season had so much heart to it i absolutely loved it. i love the whole series in general but season one i will say was definitely the best one season two is really good and this one just closes it off with such a beautiful ending sad very realistic it is a dark comedy in case you're not familiar with it um it does have a lot of cursy words so if you're not a fan of cursy words within your series this is definitely not going to be for you but if you are in the mood for a beautiful friendship a bonding after judy runs over and kills uh jen's husband and then the spiraling that kind of goes off within that um that happens in season one i will give spoilers for season one and season two then you can say that jen kind of got her payback and ended up killing steve which was judy's boy fiance boyfriend were they married i don't think they were married but you know it was kind of doing that so in season three we're kind of covering up and finishing up from the whole thing that happened there of the killing of steve who is of course ben's brother because that which is played by james marcel uh, their twins, the kind of relationship that forms between Jin and, and, and Ben there. I did say I wasn't going to give spoilers, but I'm kind of giving spoilers shit. I didn't mean to do that. That's as much spoiler talk as you're going to get. It's just a whole mix of things, you guys, that are happening. Just kind of like a quick little recap. Because again, how much battery do I have left? I don't know why I'm squinting. I can't see my screen. I'm blind. Stephanie, quicker thoughts. I love the series. It's only 10 episodes. They're each about 30 minutes long. So it is a very, very quick, bingeable um, show. It did take me a couple days to finish it just because I didn't want it to finish y'all because I just knew it was the end. Is it perfect? No, no. They did rush through certain kind of plot holes like the Greek Mafia which by the way that whole Greek Mafia I wasn't really here for. We're covering up one murder to another murder to like again this beautiful friendship that ends up forming after somebody kills somebody's husband but this is my partner like I don't want to do anything without you you guys this series made me cry like if I wasn't at work like just thinking about it making my eyes water if I wasn't at work I definitely would have been like bawling more but I was just like <laughs> you're bad bitch you're bad bitch so if you're somebody who's a crying like me just kind of have your tissues ready it ended really great I totally see people like being upset just because of how it ends but it's just like very very real world situations before i give you my score if you haven't already guessed by now give this video a like subscribe to the channel don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time i post something new of course dead to me season three binge it binge it binge the whole series if you haven't already again it's three se uh three seasons each of them i think have 10 episodes they're each about 30 minutes long um so you can definitely binge the whole three seasons in you know in a couple days and a weekend this weekend 
Thanksgiving weekend, y'all. That's when I'm filming this. But if you've seen Dead to Me season three, let me know down below what did you think about it? Did you like it? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Was it just not for you? Or the whole series, like what did you think about them? Uh, like I said earlier, uh, season one for sure, it's top on the list for me. Season three, just because it's the heart of the show would come in second. And then season two would be last. Not to say that season two is bad because it's not. I really genuinely love all three seasons. Those are my thoughts and my semi non-spoiler spoiler review even though i wanted to give you spoilers and i do kind of still want to give y'all spoilers maybe should i do a spoiler review no i'm gonna do a spoiler review yeah i just need to watch the show guys all right guys that's it for me everybody have a happy wonderful safe thanksgiving